Hey guys, and welcome to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith, and today we're going to be doing some product testing for a company that I really love. I'll just give you one guess of what it is. <laughs> Alright, today's video is not sponsored by Sailrite, but it's sponsored by me because I love Sailrite. So, I have been looking for an alternative to um, purchasing my vinyl. Where I'm at locally, I can only get black. So I got an email from Sailrite and they were like, hey, we've got a Sailrite Christmas tree ornament. <laughs> I was already on the site, so I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to buy vinyl from you guys and check it out. Let's go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and I ordered this brown vinyl. Um, hopefully you can see it. So Sailrite, when they first got started, uh, or from what I can tell, is that they do a lot of reupholstering of seats and uh, like boat seats and awnings and like thicker things. That's where that's how I think the machine came about. They were looking for a machine that could handle all of that, but also they've got the vinyl that can handle that. And if you've been bag making for any amount of time, you know that um, upholstery fabric is amazing fabric. For doing purses and bags because it's thick and it's going to last a really long time. So let me show you the vinyl. I originally had gotten this to do a laptop bag for someone but when I started this other project, I'll show you in a minute, it ended up being in a bag. <laughs> so um, It's got that kind of like material fabric feel on the bottom. Hopefully you can see kind of how thick it is. It's a decent weight I would say. Um, for what I normally buy for the price it was good don't ask me what it was because I can't remember <laughs> put it up here somewhere um, but it was decently priced I only bought a yard because I just wanted to see you know what the quality was like before I went and bought a bunch of stuff that's normally what I suggest to you guys and so today we made this bag and in the video I'll let you guys know um, quality type if I like it don't like it all that stuff so let's get started all right so I ordered just a yard and sale right knows that you're supposed to put it on a roll and not fold it sorry that's a pet peeve of mine okay so it came in a box like this and then in a roll like that and then let me show you I got just like a regular nice brown because I plan on making a laptop bag for someone and it's got that kind of almost like a fabric backing it's not super thin if you can tell but I like it so far I'm getting ready to start cutting out with it I'm gonna start cutting this out and then I'll let you guys see the next step Alright, so I've got all of my pieces um, put together, like all cut out and ready to go. Um, but I do want to touch on interfacing. Sometimes when you get like a really cheap uh, vinyl, the interfacing, when you're trying to iron it and you accidentally touch the edges, you see how that kind of like bodes up? Sometimes that happens with um, this particular vinyl that I get. Um, but that didn't do it. All of the edges are nice and straight. It looks great on the other side. No bowing and bowing up. Um, so it handles interfacing really, really well. So that's a positive because I use this all the time. All right, so as you can probably tell, I am not doing a laptop cover. <laughs> uh, I am doing a batch of purses for another video to show you guys this pattern, but I wanted to show you how well the vinyl has done. So normally, with some vinyls, when you put your seams together, you really have to watch two things. You have to watch your needle size and you have to watch your stitch length. Because if you're if you're too tight, you're going to end up having perforations uh, in your vinyl. And then that is just a waste. Uh, second thing, needle, you know, stitch length, sometimes you need it. But this one, hopefully you can see if my camera will focus. There's no perforations look at those beautiful stitches from the fabricator it did really really well so it's got a lot of my pluses one it takes the interfacing really well two no perforations I ended up using a 12 um, needle and I just kind of went slow uh, over top of this just because sometimes if you have like an 18 needle or whatever it'll end up breaking um, 
and you'll end up having the perforations in your vinyl and you don't want that. So I used a 12 in this and it actually worked really, really well. Um, so I like the top stitching. I like um, kind of how the seams and all went together. There's no, there's no perforation whatsoever. So I would say this vinyl is a really good vinyl and it is most likely something that I am going to buy in the future. And more so if Sailrite will come out with a hot pink vinyl. Just throwing it out in the universe. All right, so the bag is all done. It was really nice um, to kind of top stitch on top of each other. You know how sometimes you put vinyl on vinyl because the the top inside is the vinyl and the top outside is the vinyl. Sometimes when you um, top stitch it, it can kind of catch or it can kind of, um, I don't know, just be really, really thick. This was perfect. I didn't have any problems at all getting through this. Of course, never have problems with my fabricator sewing something. But um, as far as the thickness and everything, it has a, a really nice quality, a really nice thickness to it. So I am impressed. And I really, really like how this turned out. And I can't wait to buy some more vinyl. So my overall thoughts. I am very, very pleased with how this vinyl turned out. I am pleased with how it sewed. I am pleased with the the look of the bag. I don't have to really worry about some of the seams looking kind of funny. So do I like Sail Rice Vinyl? Yes, yes I do and I will be ordering some more. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you want to subscribe and see some more Sail Rice products that we're going to be doing this coming up year, I've got a whole list of stuff I want to do for you guys for sale, right? Um, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, comments about needle size with this vinyl, if I didn't cover it, um, any questions or comments in general, um, leave those in the comment section down below. I do check those daily. Thanks for joining us again on FaceWorks Designs. Bye, guys.